Good evening, Cadre. Uh, Lukey3262 here from the Shaving Cadre. I'm going to do a straight shave this evening. Um, it's been a while since I've had a shave. I was kind of sick or later this uh, this last weekend and into the early week. Uh, not feeling great and been busy with work and uh, coaching wrestling and didn't have anywhere we had to go. I work at home, so... Um, I just decided to go ahead and just take the day, take a few days and not shave. Actually, I haven't shaved, I don't think, since New Year's, New Year's Eve. So, uh, it's, it's past time. <laughs> I'm actually in a 3017 um, thread right now, uh, participating. Uh, I'm supposed to be 3017-ing uh, uh, Yardley Shaving Soap, but um, I'm six days into the challenge and uh, I have yet to use it. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and get back on the horse. Uh, with that. So uh, that's the software this evening. I'm going to be using Yarly Shaving Soap uh, for my soap. Uh, my brush, I'm going to be using a Sorrentino Brushworks. Um, it's a, like a, a vase style. Um, I believe uh, Barbara Dave called it uh, the Pillars of Olympia or something like that. <laughs> uh, I forget what he called it, but all I know is it's a, made by Eric Sorrentino. has a wonderful AP shave. Um, um, I believe it's a Jealousy Knot, I believe. Um, and it's just a wonderful synth synthetic knot. I've, I've tried it twice now. Um, so, uh, yeah, looking forward to using this. Um, my razor today is actually one of my very favorites. Um, I, 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 uh, I really like George Butler. Um, the George Butler razors from Sheffield are wonderful. Uh, this is almost everyone I own has the, it's hard to see. I don't know how to get it to show you. Um, it has Shakespeare, uh, and it's got the keen as a razor's edge invisible from Love's Labor, Love's Labor Lost. Uh, on it. This is a this is the thumb notch variant, uh, full hollow. Um, the uh, what is it? It's a number two and a half, I believe, or number two, and then it it has some funky numbers. Um, but it's got wonderful jimps. Uh, it's a fantastic vintage razor. It's got a lead wedge. Um, I just love this razor. I have another one of these in ivory. And then I ho have a whole other set, uh, uh, a two razor set in ivory too, uh, along with several singles from George Butler. But it's definitely one of my favorite manufacturers. Um, seems to take a really great edge and I never really have to hone them uh, unless I feel like changing to a Codical or a, a Thuringian or um, um, Jasper or some other edge that I, I wanna try. Um, so uh, with that said, I'll uh, go ahead and shut up and shave. Um, I have, um, I went ahead and, um, uh, soaked my soap, I'm trying to think of the word for it. Uh, it's, it's later in the evening. Uh, but yeah, I went ahead and so, uh, soaked my soap a little bit, uh, bloomed it. Um, pardon the taps. Um, so for you newer guys with the synthetics, um, only really need to, uh, uh, dampen it. You don't need to soak it. Since this is a 3017, I'll go ahead and do about mm, 50 to 60 seconds. Already quite a bit of soap in the brush. Maybe just a little bit more. Vintage Yardley, I've said before in my previous videos, just one of my favorites. It's a wonderful soap. Um, every time I use it, I get that rich, thick, creamy lather um, that a lot of guys just dream about. It's, it's one of those just amazing soaps. I mean, look at the paste. In the bowl it's hard to see with my uh, lighting here just a fantastic shaving soap but uh, okay
I think I mentioned in my last video for New Year's Eve, uh, I haven't been able to get to the barber around here. Um, the two barber shops that I enjoy going to have both been closed for extended periods of time due to uh, the coof or the corona, whatever you want to call it. Um, but uh, sounds like my barbers are on the mend and they should be back soon though. The St. Louis County area, we are uh, newly under a, um, a renewed mask mandate. Um, so I'm wondering if they're going to make an attempt to uh, go ahead and uh, slow things down a little bit by uh, shutting down a few of the businesses that uh, that uh, they deemed as unnecessary the last go around, but we shall see. Um, Personally, I'd really like to go get a haircut, but we'll see what the uh, cards, what's in the cards for me. Yeah, really 40 seconds is a major overload for, for this shaving soap. Um, a minute would be drastic overkill. Um, really for me, I think I've been loading somewhere around between 20 and 30 seconds. And to be honest, I think that might even be too much. In other news, had some uh, pretty exciting developments yesterday. I'm not going to say they're all for the best, but you know what? You got to play the hand you're dealt. Well, yesterday, um, well, some of you guys know, I, uh, a little backstory. I and Irina have been renting for quite some time um, because we were um, Dave Ramsey Total Money Makeover folks quite a few years back. And we had serious credit card student loan debt at one point. Uh, you know, a lot of people do, come, especially coming out of college, trying to keep up with the Joneses. And that's looking pretty creamy and pretty. I think I might just give it just a hair more. Um, but anyway, so we uh, did the total money makeover and thank God we did because it, it just completely changed our lives in so many ways. Um, but part of that, We built up a nice six month emergency fund of uh, expenses, of monthly expenses. And uh, on top of that, we, um, started saving for, um, a down payment on a house. Cause I've never, I've never owned a house. I'm, 36 and I never owned a house so anywho well so we had planned on renting for a whole other year
Well, the landlord visited last night to uh, go ahead and pick up uh, pick up a um, electric heater he dropped by um, several weeks back when our furnace went out. And uh, well, anyway. Anyway, well, he was nice and cordial and let me um, carry the uh, one of the heaters to the car for him and then he laid out the real great news. Um, he let me know. that they wanted us moved out of the house by March 1st. So a little under two months uh, to move out of the house. Um, we've been great renters. Um, but apparently his young son got a scholarship to, um, got a scholarship to the uh, St. Louis University High School. which is a prestigious um, high school to go to. Of course, it sets you up for college. Anywho, so um, they've been driving about an hour um, to take them to school and then an hour back to work and then the same every day to go get them um, and bring them home. So they were dropping four hours in travel. So he, uh, he wants, he wants our, uh, our house so that they can move back into it while he's in high school. What do you do? We're on a month to month lease. We have been for a while. So kind of between a rock and a hard place. Um, they only have to give us a month's notice. Well, thankfully, like I mentioned, we've been uh, saving for quite some time, and uh, we've got we've got a good down payment. Unfortunately, I don't. We were going to wait for another six months to a year or so to buy um, but. With the Fed saying interest rates are on the rise, um, I was hearing whispers today that uh, there's a chance by the uh, middle of the year or end of the year we'll be up over 4% for home loans. So I'm going to take it as a swift kick in the butt to uh, change your life. That's what it's about. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, wow, look at this mess behind me. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and um, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go ahead first into buying a house. So um Hadn't really thought about looking for a house during the winter. And really didn't plan on moving out or having to pack up my house while I'm actively coaching wrestling and gone most afternoons and almost every Saturday. But it is what it is. So... Just uh, start trying to catch up where we can and get the house packed up. We've already talked to a real estate agent 
this morning and got pre-approved for a, a home loan, so who knows, maybe it'll go quick. Um, the only major complication, which that can be worked around, is my son. He is in his second year of Catholic preschool. Um, because of his age, he's going to have to go for another year anyway. But it's the middle of the school year, so it's kind of crummy to have to pull a kid if we move very far away. And my wife and I have decided if we're moving, unfortunately, that's going to have to... We're, we're, we're going to have to get out of St. Louis. Um, I mean, I, I've mentioned it before on the threads, but uh, unfortunately, St. Louis is uh, notorious for being one of the most dangerous cities in the United States per capita. Um, granted, that's per capita. That's the city. The county's not super bad uh, with crime. But really, it's just, it's just difficult living in the city, especially with COVID and some of the other stuff. And, you know, I, I, it'd just be nice to get away from people a little bit. The long-term plan had been to save up and buy a 40 to 60 acre farm. But I figure we'll just go ahead and buy a house on the outskirts of one of the smaller cities near St. Louis so we can still be close to family and then uh, we'll make those decisions a little later on after we've been homeowners for a while and uh, saved up a little bit more money. She's sharp today. I believe I put a third engine edge on this one, uh, Escher edge. And uh, every time I strop it, it just seems to get a little bit better. So anyway, that's the house saga. It's uh, It'll come along. Everything will be all right, I'm sure. Every time my wife and I have had adversity, the Lord has brought us a blessing. So... And honestly, it might be better to get settled in a setting before my son gets to kindergarten anyway. Now in other news, we have on the cadre officially started the, like I mentioned, the 3017 uh, challenge for the month of January. Uh, we've also started the weight loss challenge, uh, which started the final weigh-in was, um, final weigh-in date was yesterday the 5th. Um, And we have the enjoy what you have sabbatical or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I know that's cursing to some of you guys um, going on right now. Hence the 3017. Um, 
So trying to uh, hold off on making purchases for the first quarter of 2022. Now, many of you guys know I am quite addicted to following my routine. I pretty well religiously, let me change that, not religiously, habitually, check eBay every day in the morning when I get up and at the same time I search certain keywords every day on Facebook Marketplace and a few other auction sites so I can find local lots to buy. Well, let's face it, I, I have enough straight razors to equip every person on the shaving cadre probably twice. Um, so I don't really per se need to buy any more razors right now. Um, but it's still a hard habit to stop. I, I think I still catch myself every day, at least once a day, checking eBay and a few search terms on Facebook Marketplace, but I'll probably pay, play chicken at some point and hopefully get outbid, but uh, I don't plan on it. It's, who knows? Anyway. Still... Super nice, thick, creamy lather. Wonderful brush, Eric. Thank you. I'm loving it. Personally, never been a big fan of the Fool's Pass, but 
Why not? I just do a little minor touch up with uh, with one of my DEs before I finish up tonight. I don't know. I've had, I don't know, probably well over a thousand sh straight shaves, and I'm just not not the greatest with that pass. Well, positive thing about moving is I'm not going to have to worry about, um, <laughs> I'm not going to have to worry about that annoying uh, faucet anymore every time I do a video. Who knows, maybe it'll be more annoying. Dry my blade off with a little TP. Does the job. I know a lot of you guys have super complex drying routines and hair dryers on standby and oil and all that other jazz. But, uh, old Matt here, pretty much all I ever use. Oh boy, the camera's about to fall off the mirror, pardon me. All I ever use is a little toilet paper, and I set it out, and it's good to go. All right, for sure. Yeah, I got a little minor touch up on my upper lip and on my neck, where I always do. No matter how I can, shave with the safe or with the straight razor that scything action on my neck is just almost impossible all right i'm gonna finish up with a, I guess it's a, it's pretty bad. I don't, I don't keep up on my Gillette DEs that much. I believe it's a Gillette Sheridan. I think this is a Sheridan. Pretty sure.
picked it up at an antique mall. Uh, we went on a little short vacation to the Lake of the Ozarks this summer and uh, stopped at one of my favorite old haunts, antique shops, uh, up there and had this puppy in there for, I think it was, might have been 10 bucks, 20 bucks, I can't remember. It was way too cheap for me not to just leave it there. I mean, it's it's still got pretty much all of the gold plate on it. Pretty mild shaver in my opinion. It's kind of a, to me, the melding of a 40 super speed and a Gillette new. It's kind of my thought. I mean, I don't think it's as aggressive as a Gillette new. In fact, it's pretty smooth. I feel like and I look like a new man. I uh, suppose I'll go ahead and um, call that a shave. I'll throw on some post shave and be done. Um, I still need to finish up and head upstairs and work a couple hours. I, I still have um, some uh, obligations for work yet today. Today I'm gonna go ahead and use a little uh, Thayer's Lavender. Um, for my shave, it's gonna be an all lavender shave. So my aftershave splash is, I guess this is a vintage now, I think. Uh, I don't think uh, uh, Chatillion Lux, Chatillion Lux, he's, he's a local guy here from St. Louis. I've met him a couple times for picking up cologne, but I don't believe he makes his own aftershaves anymore. Uh, but this is the Pure Lavender. Uh, and then I also have his uh, Pure Lavender Post Shave Salve. Never been a huge fan of it. I'm gonna go back to it. It's been a while. I think it's probably been a couple years since I tried it out. Still smells great. I'll just put a little bit on. Lavender is a great scent for uh, before you uh, hit the hay. My little suction cup deal holding the uh, camera on really is having trouble tonight. Oh yeah, I mean just absolutely one of the best lavender scents out there. I mean Barrister Man has a wonderful lavender too, but that's just phenomenal. And this salve, you do not need much. I mean, just a little bit on the finger, that's probably too much right there. saying that like you can still find it. I'm not even sure you can. I think it's been discontinued.
All right, guys. Again, Lukey326 from theshavingcadre.com. Uh, if you uh, like my shaves and all my blabbering, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, subscribe and uh, uh, come check out theshavingcadre.com um, where we all get together and have a lot of fun. So, And we also talk about shaving, too, and a lot of other stuff. So uh, have a good evening, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.